Hello. This is going to be how to get gold the fastest in Skylock. So you can get the hammer and the gilded pickaxe. Well, gilded steel pickaxe and gilded steel hammer. If you kill these, you get like one gold for each one. But with the, with the wood sword, it takes like 50 hits. But with this, it takes way less. But you don't even get gold every time either. But you can also mine these ores. And every once in a while, a gold ore pops up. And if you mine that, you usually get at least two per gold bar. But it's pretty slow because it takes so long to mine it. But if you... Yeah, see how slow it is? It takes like 10 hits. But if you open your inventory, click and drag onto one of the squares and let go. It keeps going without you clicking and holding. And you can do that like 5 times and pick X like 10 times faster. Well, more like 2 times, but... But you see. And if you heard it like that, it went pretty quick. I mean, you could just hear how quick it went. It works with everything too. So if you have blocks that you want to delete quickly, like grass blocks, because they take one hit, and you have them all in like a line in your base, you can do that. And as long as your mouse doesn't go off of the rock or whatever you're mining, it'll keep going. But once it goes off, it won't keep going. So that kind of sucks. But for the gilded steel pickaxe and axe, they both take 200 gold each, and the Gilded Steel Hammer takes, I think, 60? 60 or 70. I think it's like 20 gold for the Gilded Steel Rod, and then 50 gold to put it all together, so I think it's like 70. But it might be 40 to put it all together, so... But it's, it's faster to just mine than to kill these guys, because these guys take so long to kill. Especially with the wooden sword. And you don't even get gold every time. And he's gone. And also, it takes, takes a little while to get a key, right? So, if you die in here, because look at look how much damage they do. Boom, 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 boom. They kill you in like six hits. While the slimes take like... 10 or 20. But these guys do a lot more damage. And with the wood sword, I'm going to kill this one first and then show you how many takes, hits it takes on the other one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So it took 46 and I only got one gold. Which is pretty dumb. Whereas if you just sat on one node for however long, at least 10% of them are going to be gold. And it takes like See, there's another gold one. And look how much gold I get. One, two. And sometimes you can even get four from one node. Because sometimes each break gives two. Actually, when I first got this pickaxe, I came over here. And then I accidentally dropped it. And someone almost picked it up. So that was um, not fun. Because it took me a long time to get it. But it doesn't, it really doesn't matter how quickly you do all this, it still takes ridiculously long to get these, even though they made it cheaper. I think the only thing they made cheaper was the hammer? I don't know. And this guy is, sometimes these people will come up to you and stand next to you and wait for you to get a gold ore, and then they'll start mining it. But this guy, he's not doing that, he's just trying to give me a gear. Because I gave him food earlier or something. Now he's running from me. 
because he knows I don't want green slime gears. Considering I have 51. I didn't actually check how... M oh, he is gonna die. Should I say it? Nope. Too late. If I go to my island, don't mind sands there, you know. If you set up a macro, it's a lot easier to farm because it presses the F button for you so you don't have to spam it super fast. I don't think I'd ever be able to spam it that fast because that's 10 milliseconds in between every press. For my base, let's look at... um. I know there was something else that required something. Oh, I know what it was. It was industrial stone cutter. Do I have one of those? Hold on a second. Crystallized iron. I don't see one. I thought I had one, but I think I gave it to somebody. Because you need you need one of those to make the gilded hammer. But you also need one to make the stone cutter. Which, this two stone at a time, like look. And then you have to wait however long, like five seconds each time. And then you gotta keep putting it in manually. Because if, if I got the um, industrial one, I could have it set up like, it's like over here. I'm not gonna go up that. That takes too long. Because this is my coal area. I used to do it with clay, but I have 1,200 clay, so I think I'm good. I have all my iron totems going down into here, and this is like a 60-30 split right here. It kind of splits them up. I guess it doesn't work very well with the curved conveyor, but I didn't have a regular one at the time. Let's drop down in here. And then I have my coal totems. So you get fueled these things. And then they pump out the gold, I mean iron, down into this system. Which splits it up each time it goes down into if I can get out. I can't. Okay. Oh my goodness, just let me out. It goes all the way down into 18 chests, I think. And each chest can hold, like, quite a bit of gold. I don't know, like, I mean iron, like 40 or something like that, I don't know. I'm too lazy to do it. Oh yeah, it has to be 40, but, or maybe it's like 35, because they only stack to 5 in these chests. Which I'm hoping they add a gold totem for like 250,000 or something. Oh, a new update. Well, I guess that's the end of this then.